All right, in this video I'm going to teach you how to make a fancy heart using a standard sized sheet of printer paper. I'm using a dark color so you can see the creases better, but I recommend you practice with a sheet of white paper uh, since it's more expendable. So you'll take your sheet of paper like this, fold it in half, make a nice crease right there, unfold it, take the bottom corner here, line it up with this crease in the middle, increase that line, take the bottom corner here, bring it up to the same line, this is just to get your actual preliminary shape since you can't use the whole piece of paper. What you'll do is take the paper here, fold it over, flip it over rather, fold this part back so that it lines up with this new line you've created with those two flaps. Make a nice crease. So, you flip it back over. Should have that. We need to get rid of that piece. <clears throat> so you can cut along that line, or if you just keep holding it back and forth a couple of times and get a nice crease on it each time, you can actually tear it off. Okay, that can go away. So, same orientation, now you have a piece of paper, two squares side by side, with these two flaps like that. So, that folded up that way, you'll want to do the opposite, fold this corner down here, put a nice crease, same thing with this side. Unfold those, should have two squares, each with an X. I'll show you the simple way to do this fold on one side and the advanced way on the other side. So take it this way, flip it over, fold this line to match up, match up with that crease. And fold it. Now flip it back over the way you started, so that it's that way. With this crease running opposite these creases, if you bring these two points together, it'll fold in just like that. And then just run over the creases to where it looks just like that. You'll want to repeat on the same side, uh, the same thing over here. If you don't want to do the pre-fold, you can actually just do it in real time. Fold it down like that. Recrease it. And there you have, so it should be folded in just like that. For beginners, the way we tried first might not be a bad idea. So, we have this. Now what you'll do is take each of these points and fold it out to this point out here. Well, the one on its side. These two points fold out to this corner. And then these two points fold out to that corner. like that, like that with the two points there. Now what we'll need to do with each of these four points is called a squash fold. I'll show you the uh, beginner way to do it and then the advanced way if you prefer. So you'll take this point and actually fold this triangle in half over here so that it matches up like that. Give that a good crease and unfold it. Then 
with that crease that you made gives you a guideline to open this up and squash it down. And these two lines are that crease that you just made. So you'll need to repeat that on each one of these four corners. If you don't want to pre-crease it, you think you can just squash it down, get a good line, go for it. Otherwise, the beginner way is not terrible. Alright, good, good creases here. Okay, so it should look like this with all corners squashed down. Now is where it gets a little bit intricate. You're going to take each one of these new corners, fold it to where this line matches up with the crease in the middle. Oops. Just like that. So for each one of these little squares, you're going to take the point, the uh, open side of it, fold it up like that, fold that one up like that, and repeat on all four. Most of what we're doing is symmetrical, so if you don't have the paper oriented the exact same way, it's probably okay. there. These two lines need to go in the middle there. Fold it up just like this. Alright, get those creased without messing up the other ones. So now it should look like that. So now you're going to take each one of these little corners and squash fold those as well. So basically if you want to preliminary fold it, you can fold this point down to that line there. Like that. Unfold it. And then open it up and squash it down. where it looks just like that. So, same over here. Take this point, fold this point down like that, line up with the line. Okay, just like that. Crease it. Open it back up. And it will facilitate that squash fold. You want to repeat on all points. That's why the beginner way is sometimes a little easier. Okay, so should look just like this now. All those points squashed. Make sure all your lines, all your creases are nice and flat. I like to use my fingernail because it's a lot easier. And just go over each of your new creases you've made. Make sure they're crisp. Okay, so now that that's done, what we're going to do is fold it over. And what's going on here is these are essentially, you don't have to do this part exactly, I'm just showing you. These are essentially on those two points, 
So you're going to take one of these two points and fold it backwards. So we'll take it, flip it over like this, fold it completely in half, bring these two points together, give that a nice crease. Alright. The last piece from this side, take this point, fold it in, directly in to where it's laying on that middle crease there. Just like that. No exact measurement for it, but try to make them even. Two points fold in like that. And that's it. Make sure your creases are crisp. There you go. Fancy heart.